Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're doing great. Um, it is such an awesome day, and so um, I just hope you're doing well. And so... Just waiting for some people to jump on here. And good morning, Mom. I hope you're doing well today. Good morning, Janet. We're gonna read from Psalms 56:22 today. Psalms 56:22 today. And so, good morning, Sherry. Hope your mom's doing well today. So here's what the verse says today. Psalms 56, 22. Good morning, Tamika. It says, cast all your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. That was... And I always say this, and it's true, because it's. I was just reading this. I was thinking about this this morning. Cast all your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. And uh, last night, if you didn't get to uh, join us last night for Bible study, as we are, and you can go back to First Assembly of God page and watch it, um, we started our study on... Uh, our book about toxic thoughts and we're talking about um, you know tr you know uh, oh, the mind and toxic thoughts and this cast your cares on the Lord and he will stay sustain you Casting all your cares, you know, giving all your cares, giving all your worries. Good morning, Phil. All your stuff to the Lord. You know, all your worries. Uh, you walk out the front door, you, there's there's always that ability that you're going to be slapped in the face with something, right? I remember going to Bible college. And being married for our first year of Bible college, there was um, times and that we would we would just kind of um, you know everything was. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We'll be praying for your mom, Sherry. Uh, there will be times that we we're like. Um, worry about stuff and and uh but the fun thing was this we we would open the i would pay the bills and open the checkbook and pay the bills and and, and i would pray before i pay the bills you know we had lots of support from our parents and we were working and and god just took care of everything but we just kept on any worries and it because we we're working being full-time students and and we just said okay god there you go and somehow some way a little bit of extra money came in or whatever sometimes those cares will still be there but if you're casting them on the Lord, you just keep on trusting the Lord. And you just say, okay, God, they're still there, but I'm still going to trust you. I'm going to trust you through it. And even when those cares were still there, we still didn't worry. We weren't, because at the very end, the righteous will not be shaken. And I was like, okay, I'm still going to make it. The days that we went to the fridge and we looked in there and went, oh, there's nothing to eat, but there was plenty to eat. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just, uh, we just kind of, you know, you just, you 
just trust in the Lord. You cast all your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. And you just say, okay, God, you're, you're there. You're in control. You're, you're in charge. And you're like saying, yes, I can, I can make this because you're in charge and you are God. And I may not understand everything that's going on right now, but you do. And, uh, I'm just going to cast it. I'm, I'm going to lay it. If you want to get really crazy, I'm going to cast it at your feet and I'm going to leave it there. Because I'm going to trust in you and I'm going to let you handle it. Why? Because you're God. And I'm not going to be shaken by it. I might be frazzled at it at the beginning. But I'm not going to be shaking at it. And then I'm just going to say, okay, God, I'm just going to keep trusting you. That's the test. And uh, that is truly a test. That is a test of every human idea in this world. Because in our world, in our ideas, what should we do? We should run out, grab the first big loan that we can find, first fix-it plan that we can find, and uh, do it. When I was first trying to lose weight, I would run after every quick fix-it diet to, to do that. And, I mean, anything I read, anything I seen, any uh, quick burning fat pill that I could find, I'd go buy it. I mean, I didn't care how much it cost. <laughs> they didn't do anything for me. So I just started praying about it, and I started exercising. I didn't want to exercise. The key was for me to exercise. And so I started trusting. You know, praying about it and exercising and eating kind of right. I still hate vegetables. And uh, so that was key. And so, and you see that my, the seniors chapel got my dad a TV. That's a big deal. And so, you know, when you begin to think about it, and think about this verse, whatever, whatever you're going through right now, cast it at the Lord. And He will sustain you through it. He will never let the righteous be shaken. So trust in the Lord through that. Trust in the Lord through the stuff that you're maybe going through. He'll get you through. Trust in the Lord. Cast all your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Good morning, Bob. And he'll get you through it. And so that's the verse for this morning. So Psalms 56.22 is the verse that we're dealing with this morning. So right out 56.22 and this morning, we're actually reading from the NIV. So, write out this verse. 56, uh, 22. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Good morning, Dean. Write the verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. And, uh. So we're going to pray for 18 missionaries. Uh, I'm going to try to read the rest of this, Janet. Hold on. Sometimes it works and sometimes it won't let me see more. So hold on. Like now. All right, so I just see 18 mission. We're going to pray for the 18 missionaries. That, and I see that they're driving through the Andes.
to get to Lima. And that's all like, and I'll read the rest later. We're going to pray for 18 missionaries who are flying back. So that's what we're going to pray for today. We're going to pray for um, Sherry's mom. We pray for my dad and my father-in-law. And my mom and my mother-in-law and my wife and this virus. And so, uh, so let's pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put them in. We'll pray for those as we get those. And so let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that, Lord, that you're in charge. I thank you that, Lord, that you work all things out. And, Lord, that we can cast all our cares upon you. That, Lord, that you are amazing. That we won't be shaken. And, Lord God, I pray for Sherry's mom, Lord. Lord, um, she said that the surgery didn't go as planned, Lord God, but Lord, please work it out. Lord, please touch her. Lord, minister to her. And Lord, I thank you for that. Lord, I pray for these 18 missionaries who are traveling. Lord, keep them safe. And Lord, be with them. I pray for Kristen, Lord God, uh, keep her safe as well. And Lord, bless them, and Lord Jesus, bring them back safely. I pray, Lord God, uh, for my dad, that you would heal him, Lord Jesus. Thank you for providing a TV for him as he's in long-term care. I pray, Lord God, for my mom, that you continue to give her strength during this time. I pray uh, for uh, my father-in-law, that you heal his body. And I pray for my mother-in-law, that, Lord, that you give her strength, and my wife is and give her strength as she's been over there for almost a month now. And I pray that, Lord, that you just uh, give us a great day. That, Lord, that you just uh, move. And, Lord God, help us to be a blessing to those uh, that we come in contact, Lord. And help us to uh, share the gospel with somebody today, Lord, in your name. Amen. So I want to encourage you uh, this Sunday um, is a special Sunday. It's Pentecost Sunday. So um, we still will have Sunday school at 8.30, and then 10 o'clock we will have service. We do have a special guest. We have Tim Inlow, who will be sharing. Um, he'll be sharing via the inter internet to our service. So it's going to be a very interesting, interesting um, uh, service this Sunday. And so join us online so uh and then 6 30 we have a special church on the couch i have a special guest joining me um the pastor from moran will be with me uh and it's going to be exciting it's going to be a whole new thing you don't want to miss church on the couch at 6 30. so see you at 8 30 in the morning and then 10 and then 6 30 in the evening it's going to be a great day on sunday but today is the last day of devotions for this week. And then I'll see you June 1st. Can you believe it? Can't believe it. So God bless you. Love you guys. And have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday for services. God bless you. Have a great day.